What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we are using an absolute banger of a Series 14 team that features Gyarados, Sylveon, Life Orb Dialga, and Yveltal. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. We got Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet coming out rather soon, and I'm going to be having tons of content for you guys. So like I said, click that big red subscribe button so you guys do not miss out on any of those contents. But before we get started here with today's team preview, we got to give a huge shout out to the team creator, Pokey Sports. Thank you so much for making this a rental code and giving it out to everybody. I will be leaving a link to his channel and his socials down in the description below. But let's get started here in that top left corner with the one and only Gyarados. Gyarados is a Gen 1 Pokemon, and I absolutely love it. I feel like I love to use it in BDSP, and I just feel like it's overall it's such a cool Pokemon. It's got Intimidate as its ability, alongside with the White Herb as its item, and then the four moves it is rocking with is going to be Waterfall, Power Whip, Protect, and Stone Edge. Second Pokemon is going to be Rotom Heat. Rotom Pizza over, oven over here. Like this Pokemon as well. And I haven't used it in so long. Ever since like Series 13 came out. You kind of just like seen like all the Rotoms just not being used in Pokemon Sword and Shield. He's got Levitate. He's got the safety goggles. And then a great move set of Overheat. Thunderbolt. Nasty Pot to set up that special attack boost. And protect for its fourth and final move. Middle left is going to be Serene over here with Queenly Majesty and the Wildlands. This Pokemon, really, really strong, but again, another one of those Pokemon that really fell apart when Series 13 came along. It's got Power Whip, it's got Triple Axle, Taunt to Taunt opposing support mods, and Protect for its final move. Sylveon is our next Pokemon, and Sylveon, again, one of those Pokemon that really has just fallen apart ever since restricted Pokemon have been being brought into the meta. It's got Pixelate, Focus Sash, Hyper Voice, Helping Hand, Yawn, and Quick Attack for its moveset. Bottom left hand corner is going to be our first restricted Pokemon. It is going to be Dialga. And I, Dialga and Palkia are always like, I feel like underrated in, in my eyes. Every time I see them, I don't think they're that strong. But then they come across with the Life Orb and just absolutely rip into you. This one's got Pressure alongside with the Life Orb and then Earth Power, Trick Room to pop a Trick Room or even to cancel out Trick Rooms. And it's got Flash Cannon and Roar Time for two stab moves. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be Yveltal, and this is probably my favorite Yveltal set with the Salt Vest and the Dark Aurora and just this move set all around. You got Oblivion Wing, you got Foul Play, you got Sucker Punch, you got Snarls, it just does work all around considering Oblivion Wing gives you HP recovery, Foul Play does big damage on physical attackers, Sucker Punch has first turn priority, and then you got that Snarl to drop that special attack. Guys, if you want to run this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that Series 14 ladder, look to get some wins with this Gyarados team. First match coming at you guys, and we're going up against a really cool team with two Ice-type Pokemon. So he's got Vanellix, who I absolutely love using. Then he's got Kieran White, Comfy, Zacian, Chandelure, who another, another Pokemon that I absolutely love to use. And I just love his design all around. And the final Pokemon is going to be Thunders. I'm not really going to worry too much about Thunders because we do not have Intimidate, but it is still a very strong Pokemon, and we got to look out for it. But I feel like Dialga does a lot of work here. So I'm going to lead Dialga and get this battle rolling from there. So Dialga, I could go Serene here for Taunt or maybe like Triple Axle. All that good stuff but um hmm should i lead that i don't know i really do like the alga as a lead though i could go into sylveon sylveon's pretty bulky right it's got decent bulk to it actually this one's just speed and special attack but it has nice little helping hands got yawn it's got quick attack it's got all those good moves so maybe i might go in with sylveon here if he's gonna throw out a pokemon that he might dynamax turn one i could just yawn i could definitely just yawn but then on top of that if he goes into thunderous he could just like electric terrain that but i really like sylveon here so you know i'm gonna end up leading sylveon Bringing Yveltal in the back end, and then final Pokemon is either Rotom or Gyarados. I'm kind of leaning a bit towards... Hmm. Hmm. I'm kind of liking Gyarados a little bit more. Just for Intimidate, we got the White Herb as well. I think all around he's pretty solid, so let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in Battle Number 1. But before Battle Number 1 even starts, you guys gotta let me know in the comment section down below for question of the day. What are your guys' thoughts on the brand new Pokemon, Gimme Ghoul? It is like a brand new like gimmick Pokemon that pops out of a chest. Looks pretty decent pretty cool but it seems like it's just like a gimmicky pokemon so let me know your guys thoughts in the comment section down below but one thing that i found out since that uh or like since gimme ghoul kind of gets an out is that there's treasure chests in the game which i think is very, really really cool you probably get some items from that pokeballs poke coins all that good stuff so i'm excited for chest i'm definitely excited for chest but he's gonna end up leading vanellix alongside with this uh with this what's it called thunderous and i feel like i just dynamax and i pop a steel spike right I think I'm just gonna steal spike and I might just yawn. I might just go straight for a yawn into him. Hopefully he's not going for a G Max or not G Max, a uh, Max Electric move. And he's not even Dynamax. This could be uh, ooh, 
Could be support, Thunderous. It's not Dynamax, and this could be support, and he could be going for eerie impulses, and I do not like that. We could be in big trouble if that's the case. But see, I'm gonna, if, if, if that's the case, that's going to be tough, but if it's not the case, we're going to be sitting in a solid spot here. Let's see. Yep. Oh, mm, 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 mm. Don't like this game one bit. Eerie Impulse comes in here, drops her special attack to minus two. And he's going to taunt me on top of that. So I think he's just Eerie Impulse and, and taunting in case Trick Room. And I was thinking of setting up Trick Room. The Steel Spike's going to fly. Can we bring it down to like Sash at least? Oh, we're still KOing. We're still doing a crazy amount of damage. We're still ripping with that. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I might even help him hand him this shot. But I'm going to yawn this Pokemon and I'm just going to start targeting down that left slot. I'm going to start targeting down that left slot. But yo, your Impulse can do you dirty. It could definitely do you dirty. But Focus Ash is going to pop off of my Sylveon. Definitely a sad thing. But it's all good. I, can, I think I might just help him hand this next turn. Because he's not going to Dynamax. So he'll eventually go to sleep next turn, which I really like. Chandler is going to poke out here and I can't quick attack it. And this Pokemon might be the one with the Sash. It might be the one with the Sash. I could go into a Quake move. Or does it learn Levitate? I'm trying to think. No, it's Flash Fire or Infiltrate. Okay. Yeah, so I can freely Quake into this. And I'm just going to help him hand on top of that. Just to make sure that it goes all the way. Or takes a big chunk of HP. Especially because of Eerie Impulse. He might even do that again. He withdraws the Thunder. So he's going to go into from here. He's going to go into Zassian. I'm cool with that. And I think he's going to Dynamax Chandelure. But I think Chandelure has one of the coolest shinies out of all the Pokemon ever. So originally it has blue flames which i think is sick but then when it uh gets a shiny form it has regular flames which i think is sick it's just so sick but he ends up mystical firing in me my special attack is minus three he's gonna have the shuka berry as well so shuka berry is gonna poke out here um okay zassian is still kind of scaring me i might go after zassian next turn i don't know we'll see i'm actually gonna yawn zassian that's exactly what i'm gonna do i'm gonna yawn zassian and then try to take out the uh chandelure next turn lovely little chandelure actually might take me out with this uh with a behemoth blade which i can definitely see happening but i wonder who he's gonna dynamax that thunderous is all support thunderous is all support we have a nice intimidate pokemon in the back end i could swap the alga wouldn't be a bad play but you know i'm just gonna go straight after this i'm gonna quake here and i'm gonna go for yawn and maybe i'll swap the alga next turn Maybe I'll swap the Alga next turn, but we do not need a what's it called? We do not need a helping hand to take out Chandelure. Oh, it goes for it. Hmm. Pulling one of these. Pulling one of these. That's fine. You taking out my Sylveon? I think he is taking out my Sylveon, so I, I guess that's fine. I guess that's fine. You leave my leave my Dialga in here a little bit longer. And again, I can swap. Maybe we get a crit here. Maybe we pick up a KO. That would be lovely, but I don't I don't I'm not gonna rely on a crit. Quick's gonna fly here. Gonna probably do about half damage, I would say, because we're minus three. Yeah, pretty close to half. Pretty close to half, and then we got the buffets on top of that. All right, I'm all about it. I'm all about it. But from here, do I bring out Gyarados, or do I swap the Alga in for Gyarados? That's the real question. We have questions here. We have questions. But yeah, the Alga definitely has to get swapped. It has to get swapped. But I could go in the belt. I'll just foul play. Hmm. Or I keep the Alga in here. I can just go straight Gyarados. I think I'm just going to go straight Gyarados and save my Yveltal. I think that's got to be my play. I think we have to Intimidate. We have to Intimidate right now. Especially if he has uh, that Thunders. It's probably it's not Defiance. It's Prankster, but still. I'm going to Intimidate right here, right now with the Red Gyarados. So, I'm not really too worried about the Chandelure. I mean, it can ally switch and kind of do things like that, but... I mean... Hmm. I think we have to get rid of Zacian. I'm gonna trick him here as well. But Yveltal's rather fast. Let me see your speed, Yveltal. Let me see your speed. 158? I mean, Thunder should probably be faster than that. I'm gonna trick him. Well, at least I'm gonna go for it. Or I could swap the Alga at this point just to get it back at full. And I could do this. And then I could also go into just straight Waterfall into the Zacian slot to try to take it out. We'll see. He's gonna withdraw his Zacian. Alright. That's actually really fine by me. I get to bring out Yveltal here. You get to bring out lovely little Yveltal. And if I had to guess, he's probably going for a Mystical Fire again. Which, I mean, that's fine. I mean, I have physical attacking moves on him as well, like Foul Play and uh, Sucker Punch. But Dark Aurora is going to poke out here. He's going to go for a Will-O-Buzz. Oh, come on now. 
Come on now, Shandle Pop. Shandle Pops hit me with a will of us. Yo, Shandler's sick. I should have just taken him out. I probably will take him out next turn because I feel like the buffets in the waterfall can take him out. Shandler doing me dirty. He's doing me dirty, but he he can't area impulse me, which is good. So I am dark type. It's huge. But yeah, we're just gonna take out the Shandler next turn. He's gonna burn me like that. But uh he might need a Dynamax here. But foul play into him. I could sucker punch to take out the Shannon Lord, but I feel like just foul play is gonna be replay. Right into him. So yeah, I'm just gonna foul play here. I'm just gonna waterfall right into the Shannon Lore. And we're gonna go from there. We do have Dialga in the back end. He's gonna ally switch, yo. How dare you? How dare you ally switch? Fine, eerie impulse can come out here and let's go. Let's go. He bites the bait, thinking that he can use pranks on me. In the rank ladder. In the rank ladder. We get rid of Shannon Lore and we kinda just waste our turns here. Um, I could swap Gyarados and try to get an Intimidate off in a little bit. But I'm just going to Waterfall here. Chip up some damage. That ain't bad damage. And this thing, of course, has the Citrus Berry. And what do we do from here? What do we do from here? I am scared of this. Uh, I am scared of this. What's going on? The Sassian. The Sassian could definitely clutch. That half, I can hit it with a foul play. Could be GG's. I could hit it with a foul play. That could be GG's. So I'm gonna go for foul play there. I might even swap him this turn. Maybe swap into the Stialga. Just so I can get Gyarados and Intimidate off. Might be able to help us out. Yeah, this one's good. This one's a close battle. This is a close, close battle. Close, close battle. I mean, he has no Pokemon to Dynamax. I don't, I don't think he's gonna Dynamax with these guys. Let's see what he does here. He is. He finally pulls the trigger on the Dynamax. Okay. So he finally pulls the trigger on the Dynamax. We swap it to Diaga. Mm. I'm just hoping he's not going for a play rough into my, uh, into my, what's it called? Into my Yveltal. off. If he is, we need to dodge because we need to get rid of the Sassian. We need to get rid of the Sassian. Let's see what he's going for here. He protects. Uh, I don't mind. Mind of protect. A Knuckles fine. Oh, he's attack boosting. No bueno. The Veltal's able to soak pretty well there. Hmm. What do I do from here? I think we have to double down this into this assassin. We gotta go foul play. And we have to go Earth Power, right? Yeah. We, 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 we have to take on this Pokemon. This Pokemon has got to go right now. Because if... One of my Pokemon can survive here and we can get rid of Zacian. I would a 2v1 up against a Dynamax Sunners. I feel like we can win this battle. Especially a 2v1. We, but we need the 2v1. We need the 2v1. And dude, I've been having some close, great battles in Series 14. I've been loving Series 14 way better than Series 13. Way better. You're just seeing a bunch of more Pokemon. It's not the same stuff every single time. I feel like the battles are closer. It's going to roll out into a Behemoth Blade. And you're dead, right, Yveltal? I think Yveltal dies because he's plus one on attack. You're dead, and is he going for Max Knuckle? He Max Knuckle might be able to kill him. Plus one. Can we eat this up? He's going to go for another Knuckle. I don't think we're eating this up. Can we eat this up somehow? No shot. No shot, and we're going to lose this one. This battle is over. This battle is over, yo. Came down the wire, came this close. We would just survive the shot. We would have won, but our opponent played really good there. Honestly, he played really good. Again, just Zassian's just doing his dirty. Zassian's just countering up on all of our Pokemon. One shot my Sylveon, one shot my Yveltal, <laughs> taking out my uh, Dialga. He's just doing everything. But Intimidate comes out here. I mean, that's not too bad, but again, I just don't think we have the attack power to take out any of these Pokemon. Especially us being burned. So I'm just going to run this battle. We're going to start off 0-1, but we're going to hop into a second battle. Look for a first win. Second battle coming at you guys, and we're going up against a really cool team. He's using Absol on the rank ladder, a Pokemon that you don't get to see too often. He also has Lugia and Zacian for its two restricted mons, and then he's rocking Venusaur and Dragapult for the other two Pokemon. Okay, pretty cool team. Like I said, I really do like the variety that he has on his team, but we got to grab ourselves a win here considering we lost that first battle. How should we go into this one? How should we play? Your belt is not going to be bad, so I might end up just leaving you. I'm going to leave the belt here, get that Pokemon rolling, and I might even leave Gyarados. Maybe get a little bit of Intimidate action going on here. I don't think that's too bad. I don't think that's too bad. I could go in with like uh, someone with Yawn or something. Like Sylveon. I might go in with them too. Just try to get some chip damage. Ring the Alga in the back end. And then final Pokemon could be Gyarados. 
I don't mind Gyarados. Or we go in with a Pokemon like Serena or Rotom. Hmm. I don't just want to see who has the who has the highest attack because we need an attacker. Yeah, Rotom might be the choice here. Gyarados could be the choice here too. I feel like it's either these two. What I'd rather have. I'm thinking Rotom. Or Intimidate could be nice too. Intimidate can be nice. But I'm gonna go Rotom. I'm gonna go Rotom. I miss my buddy Rotom. Let's use him up. Let's use him up here. I think they they both have their their ups and downs with this battle. Or with this matchup, I should say. But I wonder who he's going to lose. Anybody but Zashian, dude. I'm so sick of going up against Zashian. So sick of him. I'm so sick of him. Granted, they're so strong and so easy to use. But it's just like when you go up against him, you're just like, come on, man. Get it out of here. But he goes to Venusaur and Apps. Okay. Venusaur and Apps will come out here. Um, I'm straight up Oblivion Wing. I think I'm going to do that. I think turn one, I'm just Oblivion Wing and Hyper Voicing. I do have a Soul Fest here as well. So, yeah. It's just Oblivion Wing across the board. And drop a hyper voice here too. I think it's just a solid play for us. As long as he doesn't swap into Zacian into that Venus or slot. He doesn't cool. Oblivion Wing's gonna fly here. Either take it out, bring it down to Sash, right? Or bring it down that low. Hyper voice, I think should be able to clean that up. It's gonna be kinda close. And we get a crit there too. He's gonna put me to sleep. How dare you put me to sleep? It puts me to sleep. Eh, that's alright. I guess it's alright. That's alright. You're gonna go for a play rough. That's fine. You should be able to soak, right? Yeah. Soak pretty well. Hyper Voice is gonna fly. Chip up some damage on the Absol. Can we KO the Venusaur? We do, yo. Venusaur? Or uh, Sylveon? I love you. Sylveon with a big time KO there. I can just quick attack the Absol next turn and take it out. And he's gonna be forced to bring out, I think, Zacian's gonna come out here. A little bit of Zacian action here. Or is he gonna bring out his Pokemon that he's gonna Dynamax? But, yo, solid first turn from us. The rank ladder. I can't believe we're going up against Pokemon like this on the rank ladder. I just think it's so cool. I mean, we're using a pretty cool team tonight, too. Having some fun with it. He's gonna go with Lugia, and he's definitely Dynamaxing, and I might even... I can't yawn. I simply cannot yawn. I'd rather Snarl here. I'm gonna go for Snarl, and I'm just gonna Quick Attack, and maybe I'll yawn next turn. Maybe I'll yawn next turn. I gotta take out Absol. I have to get rid of Absol with a uh, Quick Attack. If we were faster than Absol, then I would go for Yawn, but we're not. So... I'd rather just drop a quick attack here and get rid of that Pokemon. That's what I'm going to do. And I'm just going to save my Dynamax for my uh, Dialga. My lovely life for Dialga. So, out comes the Dynamax from him. I'm fine with that one. That ain't too bad. Lugia, really, it's just a bulky Pokemon. I mean, as long as we don't proc the weakness policy, we should be fine. I'm going to try to yawn it next turn and get that off. But we'll see what he wants to do. Because most Lugia's rock weakness policy, and they're really, they don't do too much damage without the weakness policy. But again, they are super bulky, heavy on the HP stat, all that good stuff. He's gonna end up detecting. Smart little play. Smart little play, but uh, that gives my Yvelt all time to wake up. Wow, I could've yawned that turn. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does here. I'm gonna go for an airstream. Go into Yvelt, please. Cool. Can you eat that? We can. Yeah, again, he doesn't do too much damage. We have a Salt Bass. I'm just gonna quick attack again. I'm just gonna quick attack again. I'm just snarling and quick attack. Actually, do we snarl? Do we proc the policy? I really don't want to. Especially while he's Dynamax. I might just go for the yawn now. I'm gonna go for the yawn now while we have Focus Ash. But I doubt he doubles down into my uh I doubt he doubles down into Sylveon. We're gonna go for the yawn. Should've went for it last turn. Yeah, because I would love to get off this yawn onto the Lugia. And then just start chipping down onto it. Because again, Procket Weakness Policy could be a huge problem. But we're, we're going to try not to. I'm going to go for a player off and it misses, yo. I've been there. I understand. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry, buddy. Your play rough missed. I'm sorry. I've been there thousands of times. You guys know. If you guys have been watching my videos, you guys know I miss a bunch of play roughs. And it hurts the soul when that happens. So he's going to go for a speed boost again. Velto is going to wake up. And I'm just going to Oblivion Wing. Get back a little bit of HP. I should actually Oblivion Wing the uh, Absol, but... It's not a big deal. I can just quick attack next turn. Yon's gonna fly. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And we're off to a great start here. A beautiful start. A lovely start. Um, I'm just gonna Oblivion Wing again. Again, I don't want to proc the policy. And I'm gonna quick attack over onto the absence slot. Even though it's probably detecting. Right? It's probably detecting. Hopefully not. If not, I'm dropping a nice little quick attack into it. Finishing all. 
Let's see. This guy's probably getting annoyed. He's probably like, yo, proc my weakness policy already. I'm like, nah, yo, I, <laughs> I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm not letting him get that. I'll proc it after you're done, Dynamax. I'll do it afterwards. Quick attack comes out here. He doesn't detect, which is huge. I'm going to say bye-bye to Absol. Lugia's going to go to sleep next turn, and then we're going to Dynamax our... Uh, I think he takes out one of my Pokemon here, right? Who are you going after? I might be able to eat that up. We do. I wanted him to take out one of my Pokemon here. Ah, oh, dude, this game, this game, this game. I wanted him to take out one of my Pokemon, but I guess not. I guess, I guess we're fine here. I'm gonna get some HP back, but more importantly, Lugia, night, night, buddy. Look at him. He just shuts his eyes. <laughs> I love how they added that in uh, the newer Pokemon games. They just shut their eyes. I remember first seeing that, and I was like, yo, that is so sick that they added that. But he's gonna end up bringing out Umbreon. Oh, dude, Umbreon, you look amazing. Shiny Umbreon looks sick. So does Shiny Sylveon. I think Shiny Sylveon looks phenomenal with like that cotton candy blue. Just looks dope all around. But uh, from here, um, I think I'm just gonna start foul playing into this thing. Foul playing and hyper voice across the board. Yeah, I'm all about it. I am all about it. Lugia is slumped. The Elth all should go next. How much damage is foul play really gonna do this thing? Not bad damage. I like that damage. I like the damage. And there's that weakness policy. And I, like I said, we were, we were waiting this one out. We were waiting this one out. Sylveon's going to go next. Get some nice damage off all around. Two bulk Pokemon. And yo, we, are, we, we were so close to the sweep here. We were so close to the sweep. Ends up snarling me. That's not going to... Uh, that's not going to neglect any of the damage from Foul Play. Because Foul Play isn't based on my special attack stat. So another Foul Play will take out the Lugia. No problem. Actually, I might just sucker punch it at that point. And then I think we just bring out like Dialga. Right, or we can, uh, or, or we can have some fun with it. We're bringing out my boy Rotom. We're bringing out my boy Rotom Pizza Oven over here. Look at him, yeah, my dude, my dude coming in hot here. Okay, um, so from here I'm just gonna sucker punch, finish off you, and I'm just gonna do I overheat or do I plot? I'm gonna go for the plot. I'm gonna go for the plot, and then I'll overheat out. Sucker punch coming through. Oh, uh, see you later, Lugia. And I'm plotting up with the pizza oven, putting it plus two, and then I'm allowing him to just slap up onto the Sombreon. Or is he going for a Snarl? Yo, don't Snarl me, man. I'm boosting my special attack here. I'm boosting here. You gotta attack me, right? Come on now, Snarls. Really? Really? No, we're plus one. And this match is pretty much over. There's no way he stands a chance here. Pizza oven's coming after him. I'm gonna go for a Sucker Punch to drop his damage a little bit. And we'll go from there. Sucker Punch. Overheat, GG's. Or is he just canceled? It's not gonna. What move are you going for? Moonlight? That's failing over here. My first time priority move is failing. We go for overheat anyway. And you're dead. I guess he was going for Moonlight trying to get some HP back. But yo, GG's. 1 1 for today's video. Let's hop into our third and final. Look for that winning record. Final battle coming at you guys. We outplayed our opponent in battle number two. Did not proc that weakness policy. Took it slow and ended up dominating that battle. But hey, like I said, hopping into our third and final battle. Let's grab ourselves a winning record. Going up against a Soul Galio and Zamazeta team. Thank God, no Zassian. And then he's got Grimmsnarl, Incineroar, Faramosa for support, and Primarina, who I love. I love Primarina. Such a cool Pokemon. Such a dope Pokemon. But uh, who should I lead? How should I go into this one? We could go into Serene. So no fake outs can come out here. I think that could definitely work well for us. And then I could go into Diablo and just Dynamax right off the rip. I'm kind of kind of leaning towards that. I kind of like that. I kind of like that. So I'm going to go in with them too. Bring Yveltal in the back end, obviously. And then Gary the Gyarados. I think it's your time to shine. Get them all out here. Let's get some work done. Let's get some work done. But Solgaleo is looking a little tough. Same thing with the Incineroar. Is that hoping to grab ourselves a winning record. But hey, we already grabbed ourselves a win here. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. But we'll see who he wants to go into. We shall see. But, yo, I, I'm glad Series 14 actually came because I'm starting to find more people on the rank ladder. It's not taking me as long to find battles. Because when Series 13 was here, towards the end, I was just hopping onto the casual ladder because I could not find any rank battles. So, it feels good to just hop on the rank ladder, have some great battles with some good opponents, all that good stuff. But he's going to end up leading the Faramosa and Primarina, which uh, I don't really mind. I don't mind. I could just go into a triple axe to take out the Faramosa. Right? Seems like the play, or I could go into my, obviously my grass move into the, the arena. That's what I want to do here. I'm just gonna go into a power whip here. Whip right into this Pokemon. Dynamax you. Go into a quake. Or do I just steel spike across the board? I think I'm just gonna steel spike. Do some damage onto the Faramosa. I mean, what could Faramosa do? He could speed swap. 
coach. Um, close to combat. <laughs> it's usually rocking the sash. You know, I am just gonna still go after it. I'll power whip into the, uh, to the uh, what's it called, the Prima Arena. So I don't think it's a bad thing. Do not think it's bad thing. But dude, I'm just getting so excited for Scarlet and Violet. Like, I don't think a lot of my new viewers, I should say, but a lot of my old viewers know that I've been playing this game for eight years. Three since it came out, I've been grinding rank battles and grinding rank battles, playing them for you guys. You guys have been enjoying them, and like, I'm not like bored of them, but I'm ready for something. I'm so ready for something new, and it's gonna be so much fun when I get that game. Like all you guys are gonna enjoy the content all around. But we, he ends up going for a drill run, which is fine. I mean, it does a little bit of damage to us. We steal spike, get the defense boost, and trigger focus ash. I think that's a decent turn. And then power whip is gonna come out here, do a nice chunk of damage over onto that pre marina, especially because it's in the dynamax. I'm all about it. Send it. Pop, 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 pop. Big time, yo. Woo! Serene. Woo! Hey Owen, we love it. We love it. So big time KO comes out from there. Um, Pharamos is low on HP. Can legit just be one tapped. And maybe we'll take it out with Serene next turn. Really depends who he throws out here. But Sogaleo is going to come out here. Really do not want to proc this policy with that. It's just no bueno. It's just no bueno. But I might have to. I might have to. I'm going to go for Triple Axel. Finish you off. And then... I would love to go for a Seal Spike. But it's just not very effective. I think we're gonna proc weakness policy. I think we're forced to proc weakness policy on this book one. I think we are forced. I think we're forced. Alright, that's fine. We'll make the most of it. We'll make the most of it. I really don't want to go for a not very effective steel spike just for defensive boost. I'd rather chip up some damage, but we knew he was Dynamax like all Sogaleos do. And we know he has weakness policy again like all Sogaleos do. And I wonder where Faramos is going for speed swap. So he ends up speed swap, and that's tough. That's tough. That's tough. That's tough. He's in a quake here as well. He going after that's gotta be my Dialga. You should be able to eat that up, Dialga. Yeah, all day, baby. But now this thing is going to be weakness policy proc with Faramos's speed. So it's gonna be fast on the field. It's gonna be proc to weakness policy. It has defense boost too. Struggling out here. We struggling. <laughs> this one's tough. This one is tough. But I do have Yveltal, and foul play could be clutch. Foul play could be clutch. Foul play is going to be clutch. Is that policy? It's gotta be policy, right? Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say. I was gonna say. It's gotta be policy. So we can just policy pops out here. Diago's gonna go down this turn. I think we just guard here, right? I think it's gonna be my best bet. It's just a straight up max guard. Waste out of the Dynamax turn. Get some damage off with Serene. Kinda go from there. The little Serene over here. I love this Pokemon. Especially because they can't use first turn priority moves while this Pokemon's on the field. He ends up going into Zamazetta here, and do I taunt Zamazetta? I think I have to taunt Zamazetta. I think it's wide guard, it has coaching, it's all that good stuff. So I'm just going to guard this shot here, and I'm just going to taunt the Zamazetta, force it to start attacking. And a helping hand, yeah, see, we just, we, just don't, we just don't need that. We don't need that. Hopefully he's going after my Dialga here. Go after my Dialga, please. He does indeed, yo. He does indeed, and now we get off that taunt, we block that shot, we're wasting turns. That's solid for us, that's solid for us. Now, so now I can't go for Helping Hand, any of his support moves. I'm really digging that. That's a really good turn for us, we're wasting out these Dynamax turns here as well. I'm all bad, so now we can start taking this out. It's no big deal. I guess from here, we'll start triple axling. Like, what's gonna do more damage? Stab, Power Whip, 120. What triple axle that is gonna hit? Them? I don't even know. Let's go for Power Whip. Power Whip does some damage. Base 120? I don't mind that. I'll try to pop a trick him, but we're dead anyway. I will try to pop a trick him. I guess we'll try. Here goes the Quake. Special Defense Boost is coming out here. We have the Yveltal on the back end. Again, Foul Play can just tee off on that. Foul Play could say, see you later. But that's what I need my Yveltal. I need a nice big Foul Play to come out here. But again, I think that thing can take me out one shot. Which is terrifying. Famous Bash gonna come in here. We eat that up. And, uh, mm. This is tough news here. This is tough news because Serene's not gonna do anything for the rest of the battle. Power Whip. We do like six and a half HP, which sucks. <laughs> and I don't know if we bring in the Bell Taunt at this point. 
I mean, Kairos isn't really going to do much. I feel like Yveltal has to come in here and we have to get off a of foul play. We have to get off a of foul play to take out this. If we can take out the Solgaleo. I feel like we can slowly chip down this Amazetta. I'm not too worried about it. But the Solgaleo is just boost out here. We're going to hope it doesn't have an electric move. I mean, Sunshell Strike still might be able to take us out. It still might be able to take us out. But I guess we'll try triple axe here. See if we can get off some more damage. But again, this is the name of the game. We need foul play here to win this battle. He goes for a rock slide. Do not flinch me. I think we can eat that. We do eat that. Do not flinch me. Do not flinch me. He crits my Serene. He goes for a Behemoth Bash, which I think Yveltal should be able to eat up. Unless he's going after Serene here. He goes after Yveltal. And you eat up. Do not flinch. All we need you is no flinch. No RNG. Foul play. See you later, Sogaleo. Right? Correct? Let's go. Let's go. That is exactly what I need. Like I said, all I need is that foul play to get off, and that's exactly what happens. The belt all with the bulky set. This is why I absolutely love this Pokemon with this set. And yeah, Triple Axel is doing, like, just as much. <laughs> no damage whatsoever. That's fine. That is fine. Uh, From here, does Yveltal might outspeed. Could be good. I think we just Triple Axel again. <laughs> just start chipping up damage. And I guess we'll go for an Oblivion Wing. I think Yveltal might outspeed. Does not. That hurts soul. We do have Gyarados though. Who is gonna intimidate him, which I like. He ends up Behemoth bashing. He takes out my Yveltal. We get off and intimidate. Maybe we just start waterfall throwing it, but still. Still, tough news. Tough news. Triple axle flying. The damage is going crazy. <laughs> Give me some crits, man. <laughs> Give me some crits. Slowly doing damage, but yo, triple axle I think looks so cool all around. Like, I feel like that move is just Ice Slash. I always thought the move Slash in, like, the older Pokemon games when on, like, Game Boy and all that always looks so cool, like, the move animation. Especially on the GBA and, like, Fire Red and Leaf Green. I just thought Slash always looked sick. We'll go for a Power Whip this time, and we'll just start Waterfalling. It's our best bet. We do Intimidate him, though, which is solid for us. And he's going to go for be Behemoth Bash. I think he's just going to start targeting down my, uh, my Gyarados, right? Are you gonna take out Serene here? No, oh, he's talking down Gyarados. Oh yeah, we got the smash in the bag. One's over. We got it. We got it. We got it on lock. We got it on lock. Him seeing how much damage that did right there, he's probably like, okay, this one's uh this one's gonna be annoying. Unless he has a healing move, which I don't think he does. I might taunt him just in case. But power Whip's chipping up some damage. We'll go power whip, we'll go waterfall. I don't think he has a healing move, right? Sama said to even learn a healing move. I don't think he does. But yo, what a battle right here. What a battle. Coming down to the wire, going slow. I think he's hoping for some crits. Even with crits, I don't see him doing too much damage. But I think this time he just targets down the Serene slot, right? No, he's going to keep going after my Gary. Leave my Gary alone. Leave my Gary alone. Waterfall is flying again. One more turn, we should be able to win this battle. And then Power Whip's going to chip up some more damage. Yeah, one more Waterfall is all we need. So that should pretty much be GG. Yo, Power Whip? That move looks sick, too. Just giant whips. Giant vines. Just coming out. Ba 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 ba. I think it looks so cool. That's for close combat. He has close combat. All right, we eat that, too. Cool. That's Jesus. So he drops his defense this time. And, yeah. Good game. Good game. We got 2 and 1 for today's video. You gotta love it. You guys gotta love it. Nice, solid third and final battle. We end up playing it slow and taking that W. One last shout out to Poke Sports for making this team. Like I said, link to all of his social will be down in the description below. So if you guys want to catch some cool, more rental teams for Series 14, head to his YouTube channel. But this team right here was awesome. We went 2-1, grabbed ourselves a winning record, and got to use some Pokemon that we haven't used in a while. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positivity day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.